live from the local station. News 4 Jack starts now. Right now at 5.30, a controversial anti-mob plan from Florida's governor has got people heated. Ron DeSantis pledged in September that he'd do something to stop the violent protests and the destruction of property. Now he's drafted a plan that would enhance penalties for rioters and looters. But opponents argue it's opening the door to violent backlash because it broadens the state's stand your ground law. News for JAXA I-Team reporter Vic Michalucci joining us live with a closer look at the language. And Vic, you also spoke with lawmakers about it. Yeah, and we have seen some of that unrest here in Jacksonville. It certainly has happened across Florida and across the United States. So here is the plan from Governor Ron DeSantis, and a lot of people are applauding him for it. They say that it should cut down on and deter these violent and sometimes fiery protests and riots. But people on the other side say it is quite dangerous, and that's because it could potentially open up the door and pave the way for what they call vigilante justice, and someone could get hurt or killed while committing a petty crime. Or an expedited review. Governor Ron DeSantis's draft legislation could change the way Florida deals with riots, looting, and unlawful assemblies. It's in response to civil unrest across the country, but it is causing controversy. I think it's extremely dangerous. The Northside Coalition activist Ben Frazier has big issues with the Stand Your Ground amendments, which would make looting, arson, or criminal mischief of a business a forcible felony. And under Florida law, someone can use deadly force against those committing a forcible felony. This proposed legislation is dangerous, very dangerous. It is red meat and a dog whistle for far-right extremists, for armed vigilantes and of course, white supremacists. DeSantis's five-page plan also addresses demonstrators blocking roadways, giving drivers immunity if they unintentionally hit or even kill someone while people are occupying a public street. Constitutional attorney Eric Friday. It creates immunity and protection for people who have to escape a violent encounter if their car is surrounded, for example. State Senators Audrey Gibson, a Democrat, and Aaron Bean, a Republican, have different views on the ideas. We know that's an issue, and we've seen how uh, negatively and deadly um, things have gone awry with that particular statute. We don't want to see our cities burning as we have seen across the nation without any consequence, without, uh, without, uh, without measure. So the Governor DeSantis is, you know, taking the first step to say, let's, uh, let's move forward as a state to see what we can do to keep our citizens safe. Now, of course, I did reach out to Governor Ron DeSantis through his press offerings today so far, have not heard back from my request for comment. If we do, I'll, of course, let you know. We're live on the South Bank, Vic Michalucci, Channel 4, the local station. So, Vic, when could we see this officially discussed among lawmakers? Joy, it's going to be a little bit because they're going to go back for their official legislative session in the spring. That's probably when they are going to bring it up to discuss it. Somebody would have to introduce it as a bill because the governor himself cannot do that. So probably a little bit down the road, but closer to now, this Saturday, Ben Fraser with the Northside Coalition says he's going to have a rally to protest this plan that's going to be at the Duval County Courthouse starting at one o'clock. All right, Vic Michalucci reporting live for us tonight. Vic, thanks.